Hello everyone and welcome. In our last tutorial, we were here. So after waiting for some time, as you can see, the thumbnails have now occurred. The geo generator design is completed. It is showing 12 converged and 3 completed. Basically, what's the difference between completed and converged is that uh, the three which are showing completed, maybe there is something that they are not uh, following the design criteria that you want. Okay. And if they are following the design criteria and still they are showing completed, then there must be some part optimization. There should be some of the mass reduction in it. That's why they are not showing completed. The converge means that it fully satisfies the design objectives you want. Okay. So we are going with the converged one. So let's take the first one. Okay. So before going to it, we are going to see some of the more tools in generative designing. Okay. If you're going to click on this, this is properties view. It will show the properties along with the thumbnails. As you can see, you can compare like this also. Now, this is the most which I like. This is the best one. Okay. This is a basically the graph it is showing. It's showing the graph of the minimum factor of safety. As you can see, it is showing 3.08, the maximum factor of safety of this material. This is okay. This is what this is converged also, and the material is titanium. It contains the minimum mass and minimum factor of safety of 2.01. Okay, as you can see, and then the green one, which is the aluminium one, and the blue are with the ABS, and they are at the below. So this is showing the maximum factor of safety. You can go to here volume for the mass point of view. The maximum one which is stress. Okay, the maximum one which is stress is here is shown by the titanium ones only. Okay, and the minimum one which is stress is shown by our ABS plastic. Minimum factor of safety, maximum displacement. The most maximum displacement was in the titanium ones, as you can see. Simple. So these are the different types of views you can see and explore according to your choice. Okay. And you can also set the here that if you want only this much volume showing, then it will remove the other ones. If you want that it should show the volume less than mass less than 0.165 kg, it will remove the other ones. Same for the one misses stress minimum factor maximum displacement. Okay. So now let's open the first one. Uh, wait for some time. It will get open soon. Okay, let's wait. Oh. Now you can see that it has been opened and in the below of the timeline, you can see the various iteration numbers. So basically, if you drag it and put it to the early one, then you will see the starting iterative process in the between the ninth number and afterward the 16. Okay, so basically it is showing the steps or you, it, it is showing the iterative process the generative design has does so you can choose any of them and uh, you can select them and uh, then convert them into your generative design model so i'm going to select the 27th number then click on export view and click on create new design so it will take some time and as you can see preparing new design so as soon as it get prepared then there will be an option which will show the design is ready. Let's wait. So now as you can see it is showing design is ready. Click to continue. Just click on it and then click on open design. Now wait for some time. It will open soon. It will open a new design in a new tab. So as you can see it is opening. Below you can see it, it's loading. It is showing the percentage below. And now you can see that your generative design is completed in your the rear leg. Okay, now we are going to apply the appearance in it. Now click A for appearance. As you can see appearance has opened so we are going to apply the paint on it click on paint then glossy and we are going to apply red color just drag it and now drag on your body so as you can see we had applied the color 
okay now your generative design is looking great as you can see you have optimized your leg and the same we are going to do for the the front leg of our roka bogey also let's save it click on control s i'm going to save as generative design of roka bogey that's the rear leg of roka bogey and then save it okay so you have completed a generative design so this much for this video in the next video we are going to model the front leg and then apply the generative design in it so let's meet in the next video till then keep learning keep exploring